Hello everyone, so let's get started. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to use stack widget. So here I have this main file, main.dart, and then I have another file, it's called my home page. And uh, every, all I have is I have a container and a background color, that's all. So now, as we want to do stack widget, so you use stack widget to overlap things on each other. I have covered basic some of the basic thing in my previous tutorial and in this tutorial I'll cover in detail how to use stack widget so without further ado let's get started so to do that now you may need to wrap your stack widget around a container as a child okay so I'll call stack and uh, within stack it takes a property which is called children and as you can see from this bracket that it takes uh, a list or you can understand that it takes a lot of item inside it okay so that's how you'd understand it so you can put a lot of child which would be eventually their children so once again we are using stack widget to overlap things onto each other okay well the first thing we want to do we want to draw a first triangle rectangle over here or a square and on the top of it would overlap other things okay so now let's go ahead and do it so first we'll try to do a uh, draw a container okay now the container itself doesn't have a position so we have to wrap it around a position widget so that's why we'll start with position and as you can see it takes a child so in our case the child would be container okay and now position widget from the name you understand that it should take position so more like web development left right top properly in our case we'll use a coordinate system over here like left somewhere and top somewhere like that okay yeah so let's go ahead and do it so we'll define top as say 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 100 pixel okay and left so it would come down from the top to position like over here and then we also want a left position okay so we we'll do left position say we we'll do left equal 40 okay now we have this container definitely now if we wrap your container around position widget you should also give it width and height okay so in our case we'll give it width say in our case say width is uh, uh, 280 okay that's what we do and we do height okay so we'd also do it 280 so it would be more like a square okay now of course uh, uh, we can give it a color so for now just let's go ahead with colors dot red like that okay now we need to import the library for this now let's go ahead and save it run it and see the result okay now we have a widget like this okay or a container and now the position has been done through this few properties okay of course you can start it from the bottom as you want so it doesn't matter how, how you start it okay yeah what do you want to do we want to decorate it a little bit so that's why we would be using uh decoration property of container and which will take a box decoration okay and within box decoration we can define border radius okay all right to do border radius dot circular and we'll assign say 20 pixel as border and now of course if you save it you'll get an error because if you have container and decoration at the same time or if you use decoration property of a container then you should move the color inside the decoration class okay otherwise you'll get an error now we have this beautiful nice looking a little uh, square over here okay yes and another thing we could do we can define its uh, border as you can see from here okay so let's go ahead and define the border okay so we'll do border say border uh, say border dot well, all and say five all right five and now we'll do color okay and color could be colors dot so black okay now let's go ahead and save it now we have this thick border okay so that's what we have right now and all we did here 
we define these properties within position widget and then we have this container now if you have container within position widget it will take the size of the position widget okay yeah and within the decoration class or decoration widget you define the color and border radius and border width things like that now so this is our first uh, uh, stacked widget as you can see it from here we have only one child so we want to put more child here so to do that what you could do simply just copy paste it now we will have two stacked widget now save it definitely nothing else is happening because they are overlapping onto each other why because the first one the position top left is same as the second one so what we could do we could push it down a little bit okay so push it down further further down the line so we can push it down say 30 pixels okay of course you can push it down uh, anywhere you want so here we we'll do say 130 and now the left property we want to move a little more to the left okay yeah so let's in this case we'll do say 80 okay now let's see the result now we have this one this this stack widget uh, now to make it good looking we could do 140 okay now it looks much better but now we want to change the color of this stack widget so instead of red this time we'll use a different color so you do ff 5c b4 c6 okay now let's save it and see the result okay now it looks much better so this is our second stacked widget okay now do remember the way we are doing if you have stack widget and you want to overlap things onto each other you really don't need the column of course column doesn't overlap things onto each other that's you should know it as well okay uh, so with positioned widget a lot of time it becomes much easier if you know the position where to put them okay so that was our second widget over here this one okay now we want to copy paste it and put it down somewhere again but now if we run it we'll have the same positions we want to change the position now we'll increase at a little little bit more so we'll do 180 and here 120 okay now let's see the result okay now it's looking uh, better I would say and they're at a different place okay now what do we do we want to change the color of this property over here okay or this uh, uh, color this one so let's go ahead and do it just a little more yellowish or yellow so now like this so now we have three widgets here they're all wrapped around positioned widget and this positioned widgets are wrapped around stack widgets so that they can sit on the top of each other okay and now so that's one thing about position widget now the next thing i want to do that we want to draw something here uh, so that it looks a little more interesting and but right now we'd we'll be drawing things inside our container okay all right so now to do that first we have to define a child property okay and now within child say for example you can have a column okay because we want to put things like on the top of each other okay so how do you do that so that's why you need column property okay now within column property you can use many different ways to style things and put things I'll definitely first you need uh, children okay just like the stack widget once you have children you have this bracket and within bracket you can put things so now We'll, we'll use column over here and we want to put say this kind of black dashed line or back black lines over here okay so how do you do that so now so we want to achieve this dot or line over here using container so we'll use a container over here okay and container will have some properties so with we'll do 100 and height say 5 and then we'll use decoration property once again the box decoration would help us it's very useful and then we'll do border radius okay now uh, border radius uh, border, ra border radius dot circular 
say five pixel okay now definitely you need a color for this so we do color colors dot so bish orange color okay now let's save it and see the result so now it's at the top so in default column property within column widget it puts everything at the top now we want to center it okay so where do you center it to center it you can define the properties over here which is called main axis alignment so we'll do main axis alignment dot center now it came down to center right yeah and definitely you can push it further over here on the left or on the right so we'd, we'd, we'd just keep it here right now and now we have this container okay but of course you can play around with this value or the color thing say you want a different value say brown let's see okay so we'd go at this one All right now let's copy paste this so we want to have three lines over here so and now they're too close to each other so what do we do we will do sized box okay and we'll do height over here the so height five pixels so now would okay now they look much better and of course we can also increase the height of the second one or the width say this is 120 and uh, this is say 140 okay like this so you can play around with this uh, in different way as you want it doesn't matter though so now we'll see the next position widget okay so we want to draw another position widget over here okay right over here so well first we could do we could copy paste any of them say the first one because the third one is a bit complex it has stuffs on it so we'll copy paste okay and now the first thing definitely you run it it would be at the same position that's what we don't want we want to push it down somewhere here okay say the last one was the top position was 188 which is this one and if you add 100 280 so it becomes say 380 and 360 right so this position is 360 now we want to be somewhere over here okay so let's say and add another 200 so 560 so what do we do we would do the top position 560 all right left position same as the earlier one right okay now it's much better now we want to have a little bit different height width for it so instead of doing this what do we do um, say we can have this uh, different kind of width over here say 360 okay so it's much better right it's, it's getting bigger so now definitely we can play around this width and have a perfect width well now what we could do we could also have like with like this we could do media query dot off context and then we'll get the size and then we'll get the width property okay now let's see this okay save it so it, of course it has a bit of uh, uh, margin overlapping things like that or it's it's going out right now let's put it to this left okay now it's taking the 100 percent of this width so after doing media query it's taking the 100 percent width now we can change the width of this thing so uh what we could do we can assign a margin to this container say const edge only and we do select 40 and right 40 okay now with this with with this margin it's looking much better so as you can see if once you started to play around this position and stack widget and this properties you can achieve some good looking layout on your screen 
so that's the most important thing about stack and position widget and those properties anyway so if you learn something hopefully uh hopefully you learned something and if you learned something don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button thank you so much